Hi there. Um, so this is meant to be a quick um, and hopefully very inspiring and moving to action um, message in a video. Um, something that happened to me recently, but also if you know me, um, or even through my writing and other videos, this might come through. I am always the kind of person who likes to encourage people, and um, this is my favorite meme. And as you can see, uh, like it's kind of depicted as your shadow side, right? And I think I had a lot of that narrative of like judging my impulses and saying like, yeah, but you know, um, like you can't always go for it, and like sometimes you need to like stop yourself. And I feel. That could be true. Sometimes we do. We need, we need to have some kind of boundaries and regulation, and you know, not always eat too much mollusks at once <laughs> before mom and dad comes. Um, sorry if you don't know that reference. Never mind. Um, it's a psychological test. You can check it out. I'll leave the details. But uh, the thing that happened to me is there was a lot of ideas in my mind of things I want to do, but a part of me is like, no, oh, no, you need to take it slow. You need to chill. And I feel like I have been doing that much more recently and I don't exactly know in the name of what, I guess it was in the name of being more in the moment and being more aware, but it's a weird thing about it, it's like when you're consciously trying to achieve a certain goal, you're kind of getting in the way. Um, and I feel like I've gotten away from keep putting a break on everything I want to do, it's like, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. And then I just ended up playing a lot of waiting and I felt like, well, I'm protecting myself because, you know, like, I shouldn't go there because X, Y, that. And there seemed to be a lot of valid arguments, but I feel like you can't know until you go until you do it and you need to do it to have that experience and sometimes you need to have that experience to know and I know there is like loops that we play and sometimes we keep doing the same things and going and you know um, making the same mistakes and that happens too but I don't want to kind of like oh yeah just go for everything but if there is something that you have been wanting to try and something that you haven't maybe done or haven't done in a while but you'd been drawn to it right now I feel like it's worth going for it and sometimes it's even those impulses that we judge the most so for me it has been a journey of being um, six years sober and I felt like I really came to a point where I don't need alcohol in my life and I feel like really good without it and I feel like now when I stopped it was for a completely different reason but now it's also like layers of spiritual ego that adds to it and you know all that cool stuff um, but I also came to realize there was a big fear it was a big fear of even trying it again of it's like is that thing that I'm scared and what it's going to do to me and it's kind of giving power away to it. So at some point I felt like I wanted to try it and I really was judging that desire to like why? Why do you want it? Like you already had so many drinks in your life back in the day. Like there was nothing new there. But the truth is, is that we are changing. We are constantly in motion. And that is a very interesting thing because it's not so much of the things themselves that you do, but if you're in a constant journey of, um, you know, self-discovery and you're constantly like getting in depth with yourself and your consciousness, everything will reflect that. It's like I'm playing a video game, but for me, I am analyzing and realizing some like you know, something like on a psychological level about myself. And it's not that deep, I'm just playing it and I'm just enjoying myself, but that is also happening. And the reason is that happening is because, and the reason it didn't happen like years ago is because I just didn't have that constant context. I didn't have that knowledge of myself. And now I do, and I think it's the same with everything and with alcohol. When I tried it and how I felt, like some of it was resonance with um, what I remember about alcohol and myself in the past 
But a lot of it was new because I'm different and the content of my mind is different. And this is not to say like now I'm, I still don't want to um, like have alcohol in my life on a regular basis, but it was an experience and I feel like it was a useful experience to have. Um, and I'm glad I went for it and overcame that fear. So whatever it is you want to do, just go for it. So go for it and try it and at the end of the day you're gonna have an experience and if you're really like in a fearful place because I know I have been and sometimes I still am it's the last thing I want to hear it's like oh at least you're gonna have an experience and I'm like I don't want an experience um, but the truth is we are here for experiences and you don't really feel or realize it on such a deep level until you actually until you actually start having those experiences and realizing that what makes you happy, I guess, or fulfilled, or what makes life rich and fulfilling and worth of living is that is the experiences. And it's not necessarily those things that we think will make us happy or fulfilled. Like for instance, I think I have this attachment for slower pace of life because I feel like that's what's gonna make me fulfilled and I remember the feeling of it. So I'm attaching to the memory of what that feels like and trying to force it into my life. But really what I need is to have certain experiences which I'm already naturally drawn to, but I keep stopping myself because I think what will make me happy is look, looks like something else. Uh, yeah, so just go for it and <laughs> enjoy yourself and enjoy the process.